Oh, what is going on, everyone? I am back on a lure building project, uh, but it was out of town, so I had to make a, had to stop making baits. Came back into town, got these cut out. He actually, he's a graphic designer as well, and he made these pretty sweet stickers. Says kayaking gets me wet. Uh, if anyone is interested in buying these, we actually have a template still for this, so we can create stickers. Um, so if anyone wants a sticker that says kayak and gets me wet, let me know. And then here are the four baits I'll be building. These two look pretty similar. These are all going to be glide baits. They're four inches and then here's a two inch popper. So I got to sand all of these to the edge and then we'll come back and chamfer the top. So I'm going to get to sanding. Oh and also uh, eventually these will be for sale, so if you want to buy any of these baits, let me know and I can build you something. <laughs> Alright, got the rough shape out on all these here, so... Next up, I'm going to be chamfering the edges, got to get the vise clamped in here. Um, again, two of these are for some uh, YouTube friends. These two are for Skinny Water Boys and Ice Night TV. And then I'm just making these for fun, so I'll get these rounded off. Got all of the fins cut out here. And then the popper's almost done. This was extremely easy. I do need to come back and cut this out. So um, I don't know if I'll use a Dremel tool to cut this out, but I do need to cut it out so that it catches water. Uh, so I'm on to the next step here, which is cutting these joints almost all the way through. Easier to do when you have a flat-sided bait. So before you taper the edges, um, cut down here almost halfway so that you have your joint basically done. And so I have this one all lined up. Basically, just get it rested on this line right here, and then come through with the saw, rusting the saw right here. So that's what I'll be doing next. Got one of the four, or sorry, one of the three glide baits done. I'll do the same exact thing to this two others, and then next up will be to uh, actually thin it out down here near the tail and the face. So. Next, cham for the edges to make it round and then we'll sand it. So I'm just gonna take off all the sharp corners here. Oh man, a maple's so good to work with too, it's like butter. I was using oak on one of my last lures and that was a bad bad idea. It's real fibrous. So when you go to chisel a little chunk off it tends to tear big chunks off, so that was kind of a bummer. Alright, so I got the, uh, the edges all chamfered. I'm going to come back with some sandpaper, smooth it out, and then we will be done with the carving on this bait other than the gill plates. Um, we can pour lead in it. So I'm going to do the same thing for those two other swim baits and I'll see y'all back once we got them all smoothed out. All done with the swim baits here. They're all smoothed out. So on these swim baits all I've got to do is cut a little slit in the tail here on all three of them and then I'm going to be gluing in 
um, fins. So and I think I'm gonna use like a paintbrush, a thick bristled paintbrush for the fin pattern here. So just glue them and they'll all be sticking out this way and then I'll trim it, you know, trim the pattern. Uh, so now I'm moving on to this popper and what I figured I'd do is just drill a hole with a drill bit that way it builds like the scoop so I'm going to drill this I've got all the holes drilled out for the weight I got them all shaped out so now I'm going to pour lead in the bellies of all of these uh, and then go test them in some water to make sure that they sink at a good rate. Whew, long day of work here. So we got all three of them weighted. Ugh. All three of these swim baits weighted. I gotta come back once the super glue dries, grind all that down, and then they are ready to be sealed and painted. So. Long day, the popper, pretty simple. Um, so, like I said, next will be paint. All right, so I've done a lot of the painting already. Here's the popper, just taped off and painted the red. You can see the bottom still has a nice glossy pearl. Fades up to a silver. So I'll let those dry. I've gotta fade this one in still. And then I'm gonna come back with like a blue, a light blue, and hit the top on all three of these. Oh, what is going on? We're back on the lure project here. So I've already spray painted the pearl belly and the silver top inside. So I'm going to come back with some blue, do the shoulders of the fish. So I have them taped off, except for this guy. I'm kind of experimenting with that one. I'll come back with black on the top and then we'll put the scales on we should be good to go so I'm gonna do the same thing on the other one and hit it with some black time to put some scales on this popper I'm using a different screen material here the other one I was using was rubber this one, or plastic or something, this one's metal. Alright, the goal is to leave the top and the bottom scaleless. I think we did that, let's find out. Turned out pretty good. So now all I gotta do is put eyeballs on. This one'll be good to go. Alright, so this paint job's pretty much done. I'm going to do some pearl mist to see if that puts a different scale pattern down than that glitter paint I've been using, so. Right, let's peel that off, see how it looks. Interesting. Hang that up to dry. All right, as you can see, I have re-ramped my rotisserie here. The other one was way too small. I kept having trouble with it. So now it's supported on this end and that end. And then here are the three baits that I will be clear coating next. Next step is to, like I said, put the clear coat or the epoxy resin on all of the swim baits and then I'll have to come back cut the tail out and put these glue these tails these tails in uh, I actually used 
a paintbrush and just you know cut thin little strips out and then laid down like uh, I just laid down a thin kind of like this actually so I laid down a thin strip of just this uh, painters tape cut the paintbrush and then I uh, just dumped a bunch of super glue on top of it and then put another piece of tape over that and then once it dried peeled it back so I think the tails turned out pretty cool it is the best time we are gonna put the epoxy on all right it's thickened up a bit so we'll go ahead and start plopping it on We'll uh, put this up for tonight. We'll look at that one tomorrow. And we'll be done with the epoxy and we'll put them together tomorrow. So we'll see y'all tomorrow once it's all hardened up. Back on the final process here. Just finished up this one. Uh, we had a bit of a, an epoxy conundrum. So this one uh, didn't turn out too great. It's got a pretty crummy epoxy job on it. So we're also testing out three different tail styles. So there's this one that I just made out of Lexan polycarbonate and then this one just made out of a paintbrush. And then I have one more style I'll be working with here, but I'm gonna get these uh, super glued together. this guy too. All right we are done with the baits. Uh, we've actually tested them as well. Uh, so these two are for ice snag and skinny water boys and then I made this extra one here. Uh, they all swim pretty pretty good. If anything I would just add a little bit more weight to this one. This one does have that clear Lexan tail and then both of these have a paintbrush and super glue tail. Uh, nice wide swimming action so again if you're interested in either this or a sticker just uh, send me a message we can talk pricing and uh, thanks for watching we'll see y'all later